Well, today marks 35 years since the Space Shuttle Challenger disaster. It's hard to believe it's been that long. It certainly is, Ryan. It is also NASA's annual day of remembrance to honor astronauts who've lost their lives during missions. Fox 35's Andrea Jackson in studio now with more on this day of reflection and remembrance. Drake. Danielle Ryan, good morning to you. On this day in 1986, the world lost seven American heroes when the Challenger space shuttle exploded shortly after liftoff, marking one of the darkest days in the space program's history. The Challenger disaster brought NASA's space program to a halt for nearly three years. And it has cleared the tower. It's been 35 years since one of the worst disasters in space history. January 28, 1986, the Challenger space shuttle exploded 73 seconds after liftoff. The rubber seal on one of the rocket boosters became stiff in the cold temperatures, triggering the explosion, killing all seven people on board, including Krista McCullough, who is going to be the first civilian and teacher in space. I don't think any teacher has ever been more ready to have two lessons in my life. I've been preparing these in September, and I just hope everybody tunes in on day four now to watch the teacher teaching from space. The tragedy unfolded live on televisions all across the country. Many children gathered in their classrooms to watch the historic event, only to see the shuttle go up in flames. On the ground at Cape Canaveral, hundreds witnessed the doomed launch in person, including McAuliffe's parents. After the explosion, then President Ronald Reagan postponed his State of the Union address, instead delivering a televised eulogy to the American people. The Challenger 7 were aware of the dangers but overcame them and did their jobs brilliantly. An investigation later found NASA was aware that the freezing temperatures could cause problems for the rocket boosters, but decided to go ahead with the launch anyway. In March, the U.S. Mint will release a commemorative coin in honor of teacher Kristen McCullough, and NASA's annual Day of Remembrance ceremony will take place later this morning at the Kennedy Space Center. Fox 35 will be there and bring you full coverage on Fox 35 News at 5 and 6. Daniel